Welcome to our WordPress install guide series. If you're interested in other install options, check out the blog post linked in the description for more video tutorials. In today's video, we will be installing WordPress manually on any web host. At this point, you should have a web host and your domain set up and ready to go. First, go to WordPress.org and download the latest version of WordPress. Once downloaded, go ahead and unzip the files. Now we need to create a database for our installation. To do this, log into your hosting account and launch cPanel. This process will look different for each hosting provider, so if you need help, contact your host support. From the cPanel dashboard, open MySQL databases. We need to do three main things. Create a new database, create a new user for the database, and add that user to the database we just created. Be sure to save this information because we will need it shortly. Now we're ready to transfer the WordPress files over to the site. Accessing your site's directory on your web server will require using an FTP client or accessing the directory via cPanel. I'll show you how to do it both ways. To access your web server root directory using FTP, you will need an FTP client. Check out our blog post to find the best FTP client for your needs. Now you can open your client and enter the FTP credentials provided by your host. Most FTP clients will have a section on the left that accesses your computer and a section on the right that accesses your web server. On the left, locate and open the WordPress folder contents you downloaded earlier. On the right, open the public HTML directory for your website. Now select all of the WordPress files from the left and drag them over to the right side. This may take a few minutes to complete, but once it's done, you're ready to run the WordPress installation. If you'd rather do this from your cPanel, then log in and launch the file manager. Make sure you are at the web root directory and then click the upload button. Now go ahead and select all the files and begin the upload. Once it's finished uploading, you are ready to run the WordPress installer. Now with that done, we can navigate to our site from our web browser, and the first step allows you to select the language. After that, it's going to let you know it needs your database name, username, password, host, and so on, so let's go ahead and enter the information that we filled out earlier. You can leave the database host as localhost and the table prefix as wp underscore unless you have a unique setup in mind. Now we can click submit to run the installation. Now fill out all the information for your website. This includes the site title, the admin username and password to access the back end of your site and the admin email address. Don't worry, you can always change this later within the WordPress dashboard. And here we are greeted with a nice message telling us that our installation was a success. Now you can log into the dashboard and also see your website live. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out our other WordPress install tutorials, which can be found in the blog post linked in the description.